Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls Online. So we're moving to our next zone, and uh, so we're just heading towards that. And there is this NPC, obviously, we're going to talk to. I this. I just arrived from Deshaun. Deshaun. Dethesim sent me. Perhaps you've heard of him? He's the consul for the town of Sergamora, the Serk. I'm here to spread the word and warn people about the Lodos Plague. What is the Lodos Plague? It is a terrible sickness that is ravaging the Deshaun countryside. Look, I need to send word to my cousin Dandry. You can find her at the Cirque. Can you take this letter to my cousin? I'd appreciate it. Oh, I can deliver your letter. Thanks for your help. Make sure you tell my cousin that I'm alright. If you head south, you won't be able to miss the Cirque. Tell her I'll return home as soon as I'm able. Can you tell me anything about this plague? It's pretty bad. The people all over the region are getting sick. They say that the plague turns the afflicted into monsters. Ooh, zombies the again? The consul, Dethesum, sent me to get help and warn other settlements about the plague. Have, uh, you found anyone to help you yet? Well, truth be told, you're the first person, other than the bandits I've run into, and the afflicted heading for the Cirque. There's a lot of them. Word of the curative has spread faster than the plague itself, as far as I can tell. There's a cure? That's what the Mulburn claim. They showed up at the Cirque and set up a quarantine. They're offering their curative to anyone who wants it. But Dethetum isn't convinced they're telling us the whole truth. Yeah, it sounds kind of like the euthanization type thing they did. Uh, <laughs> tell me more about it. Dethetum doesn't trust them. Neither does his sister, Arona, as far as I can tell. They do appear to be too good to be true. Yeah. They claim to be able to cure anyone afflicted with the plague. That's why they set up the quarantine at the Cirque. Never heard of them before. Neither had I. Not until they showed up on our doorstep. They seem to be some kind of altruistic society dedicated to helping the afflicted of Morrowind. Now that I think about it, they did have an awful lot of weapons for a group of healers. Yeah. That reminds me of... Uh Blankets covered in something nasty. Yeah. They're either spreading it somehow or just outright killing everyone. But uh, I guess we'll find out. So here's the, the new zone. I'm looking forward to this. A whole new zone. You can even say a whole new world. Don't ask why that came into my head, but it, it was. Here we go. A whole new world, my friends. It's a beautiful little zone here. A whole new world of ravage. Okay. Oh, hello. Who knew that so many afflicted would flock to the Cirque? All these people. They're so... sick. Your cousin asked me to give you this letter. A letter? From my cousin? That's wonderful news. I'm glad to hear he made it to Stonefall safely. Thanks for bringing this to me, friend. Not a problem. Okay. Come from um, the quarantine town of... Yeah, this does not sound good for these people. <laughs> I, I minimize this, but it popped up again, probably because there's no actually active quest right now, so it'll keep popping that up. Uh, but that's fine. We can always do that. Blah, blah, blah. Falls are really the play. Okay. So, uh, yeah, here we are. Um, obviously we don't have a quest there here, are. but there is a quest it's coming up. time you got here. Oh, hey, what's up? Where have you been? I've been waiting for you to arrive for days now. Hold on. Are you all they sent? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Maybe you should start from the beginning? <laughs> Didn't the tribunal send you? Nope. Well, no matter. I'm just glad you're here. This is Circa Mora, the Cirque. The Lotus Plague reached us right before the Mulborn arrived. They claim they're here to help, but I don't trust them. What can I do to help? In all the confusion, uh, I'm embarrassed to admit that I lost track of my brother, Dethesum. He's the town consul. Yesterday he went to check on the townsfolk afflicted by the plague, but he's disappeared. Can you help me find my brother? I'll help you find your brother. Someone in town must know what happened to Dethesum. He loves to visit and chat with all of our neighbors. Come on. The sooner we find my brother, the sooner I can start thinking about dealing with the plague. 
Okay, sounds good. Let's do that. Let's help find her brother. I like this. It sounds not like a good thing, you know, but it sounds like a good start to a story anyways. By the brie, this place smells terrible. Oh my. Oh, look at me. I'm a terrible mess. You really must excuse my dreadful appearance. I haven't been feeling very well lately. By the way, you haven't seen Nostrum Breva, have you? She promised to bring me more of the Malburn curative. I'm afraid not. We're looking for Dethesum. Have you seen him? Dethesum? The town council? Such a nice young man. Why, I do recall that he came to see me yesterday. He said he had other townsfolk to check on, but that he would bring me a curative as soon as he could. What do you know about this uh, Mulborn curative? The curative? Remarkable stuff. Tastes awful, but wipes the plague right out of your system. One of those delightful Malborn gave me one a few days ago. Nostrum Breva, she called herself. But I think I need another dosage. Can I ask you something else? I may be ill and bedraggled, but I still have my manners. What would you like to know? When did the plague first appear? Oh, I couldn't say for sure. Perhaps the alchemist Nalene would know. I can tell you that I started feeling ill a few days ago after I drank the Malborn curative. She said that would happen. You have to get ill to get better, the Malborn said. <laughs> yeah. Tell me more about the Malborn. Such a polite young woman, that Nostrum Breva. Claimed they were here to provide the help the tribunal refused to give. They have a curative for the plague, you know. Vile stuff. But the best medicine always tastes terrible, my mother always said. Yeah, so um, for people who might be uneducated, and I hope no one's watching this, they're uneducated, anti-vaxxers, things like that. Uh, vaccines deal with dead viruses. You do not get, you will not, you know, of course there's side effects obviously, but you're not going to get sick and get the virus. You don't get the flu from the flu shot. Those are, those are kind of myths, unfortunately. Um, but, um, yeah, if, uh, they're going around saying you're going to get, you know, basically the, the flu in a sense, uh, from the flu shot, yeah, something's up, obviously, there, so. Uncle, are you alright? You don't have to talk, Uncle. You look so pale. No wonder my brother wouldn't let me come by to visit. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll be back on my feet in no time. But what about you? Your brother said that neither of you had taken the curative yet. Uncle, I'm not sure about these Malborn, and their curative sounds too good to be true, but don't worry about me. Just take care of yourself. I think it's good here. No, they're not seeing you. Interesting. Okay. I guess because of the the because their quest I ones see maybe. Arona has conscripted a new soldier into her private army. I'm trying to help find her brother. <clears throat> Is Dethesum missing? He was by yesterday for a visit. I know he had other stops to make. <clears throat> he did seem concerned about the Moorborn, though, sealing themselves in their quarantine, no longer providing the curative. It made him furious. Is there anything uh, we can do for you? My niece's visit was more than enough. <laughs> I feel better already. Besides, I've, I've overcome worse ailments than a queasy stomach and a bad cough. <laughs> mm, I'll be fine. Can I ask a few more questions? <laughs> a good conversation is like a hot bowl of guar liver soup. Oh, it soothes the like aches nice that ail you. <laughs> what did you want to ask? I forgot they like eating their puppies. Uh, when did the uh, Mulborn arrive? Can you tell me about the... Okay, we'll right. do that. I think it was 12 mornings ago. The day the wild Nicks got into the brooding elf's trash receptacles. <laughs> <clears throat> Nostrum Breva had the quarantine up in a matter of days. Then she started distributing the curative. Uh, what can you tell me about the plague? They call it the Lodos Plague. <laughs> Maybe Vivek knows where it came from, but I certainly don't. 
I can tell you that it's going to have to try harder if it really wants to kill me. Or turn me into some kind of monster, if you can believe the stories. Are you really, uh, Ariana's uncle? I am a blood kin of House Redorum, if that's what you're asking. More a third cousin twice removed, if you want to be specific. But I've been close to Erona and her family since she and Dethesum were children. Okay. Let's go. So where are we up to now? We're going to check over here, it looks like. Grell! Grell, are you in here? Is there a grail around here? Maybe upstairs? By the tribunal! Grell! I don't think your growl is up here. There's nothing to steal in this place. Oh no. Is that maybe she saw it already and that's why she said oh by the tribunal oh, kind of thing? Grell. What in Oblivion's name happened to him? Let's get out of here. Oh my god, I got flagged. You're not supposed to be flagged by that. The sicker people get the more incoherent. What happened there? That was weird. The sicker people get, the more incoherent they become, and now it looks like the rumors are true. The Lotus Plague does turn people into monsters. I don't think we're ever going to find my brother. Uh, maybe we should pay him a visit in the Melbourne quarantine? The quarantine? I guess it makes sense that Dethesum would want to go see what the Melbourne are doing in there. And I've yet to see any evidence that the curative works. All right. If you want to go to the quarantine, I'll go with you. Tell me uh, what you know about the quarantine. The Malborn <clears throat> set up the quarantine around the old graveyard. In the beginning, they were letting people inside and freely distributing the curative. But they closed the front gate a few days ago and haven't responded to any of our requests. Uh, any ideas on how we can uh, get in there? Dethesum provided them with the old graveyard key when they first arrived, and I've seen Malborn coming and going through the back gate. If we go to the back gate, I'm sure we can get one of the Malborn to let us inside. Okay. You're no longer attacked by the law, so that's the problem. You'll still have uh, issues with the law. Okay, so we might have to deal with this. This is not supposed to happen, but I guess uh, it happened anyways. We There might be no guards out here anyways, but we might need to deal with this. So what ended up happening is, uh, you know, these are all like, you get in trouble if you kill these, right? But the thing is, um, you, you weren't supposed to be... You weren't supposed to, uh, because the NPC was red... You weren't supposed to get flagged, but you did get flagged, and so that's kind of what happened. So, um, I wonder if I could report that. Let me go back to that. Um, let me let me pause this and see if I can do something about that. Okay, so um, I guess we'll pay the fine when we come across the guard. Obviously, it's annoying though because I didn't deserve that, but it happens, I guess. Um, maybe you won't even come around a normal guard either. To be honest, so you never know, right? Um, so, I think we're good here. There might be a book over here. Let's check over here. Ah, uh -huh, here it is. The start of lore books here. And there's potentially a boss over here, too. That'd hey, be kind of cool. The wrong way. Really? Fine. Go ahead and leave. I'll do this mice. The back gate is around the left side of the quarantine fence. If the Malborn are using that old gate, then one of them must have the graveyard key. But I thought we were looking for the old man over here. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what's going on here. So there might be a thing here. Are these dead because of it or somebody already killed it? Oh, free hat. I'm guessing it's dead because somebody's already done it. Okay, let's keep going up here. 
There's a sky shard here, and the quest obviously continues over here too. Let's grab this sky shard. Oh, here it is. So it's like, I'm starting to hear it, but I wasn't sure where it was. I need to look up in the sky a bit more, apparently. There you go. Do we look like plague husks to you? Did you see that? They attacked us. And for no good reason. Let's find the key and see what the Molborn are hiding in there. Let's do it. Oh, I see. We were gonna go through the door, I guess. Oh. Or no. Oh no, this is the oh, this is the hide and hidden one. Oh, plague husks, yeah. So they're basically zombies at this point. Okay. They just don't use the word zombie. Here we go. What are they up to in there? And why won't they let me get a look at their curative? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you standing there through the haze of my indignation. Can I help you? No, wait. You can help me. Uh, how can I help you? I'm the town alchemist, and I want to get a sample of the Morborn curative. They refused to give me any. You mean the plague? A dietary formula, they said. Well, I want to figure out what's in this miracle elixir. I don't trust anything labeled proprietary. Uh, you want me to give you the curative? Do you always skip ahead in the story? No one has an iota of patience anymore. But yes, I need a few bottles of the curative. I'm sure you'll be able to find some inside the quarantine. Then we'll see what's in this proprietary formula. Very well, I'll try to get a few bottles of the curative. Just watch your step in there. I don't trust these moorborn or their good intentions. Okay. Ooh, we're getting a nice little thunderstorm in this one. I like this zone. The other one we get like a bit of a windstorm, but this one, uh, the last zone, right? But, uh, stone falls. By the three, this place chills me to the bones. Let's see if we can find my brother and then get out of here. Yeah, this is a pretty creepy place, I have to admit. They're definitely making these uh, people plagued. Okay. Oops, uh, simply kills the person. <laughs> yeah, so definitely uh, doing bad there. Fuck's gonna turn in. So they're trying to make them turn into the undead, but they don't want them to be too fast. And they're trying to create these undead soldiers. Naughty, naughty. Dathisa, my brother, what happened to you? By the three, I fear the plague consumes you, brother. Arona. What are you doing here? It's not safe. The Moorborn attacked us, and the afflicted are turning into plague husks. Oh, Dathisam, this is dreadful. The Moorborn so. are spreading the plague. For some reason, they want everyone to become afflicted. They're not healers. They're monsters. Make an undead army? Oh, am I allowed to talk to you finally? Yeah. The low dose plague. I have no idea why. But it's clear to me that the Molborn curative is actually the source of the disease. Whatever they're planning, you have to stop them. Uh, you need a healer. That's not important. Get my sister out of here and stop the Molborn. Destroy the so called curative and put an end to that madwoman, Nostrum Breva. 
Uh, I don't think uh, I will leave your side. Then convince her. I'm too far gone. I don't want to become one of those things and hurt my sister. Besides, she's a veteran. She has a duty to the Cirque and its people. All right, I'll talk to her. I knew you'd understand. I convince her to leave without me. I don't want her to see what happens next. Should I we... acquired some of the Molbone poison. The death of my choosing is better than turning into a monster. Is my brother ready? I need to get him out of here. Your brother has decided to stay here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Why in the world would he want to stay in this dreadful place? I won't hear another word. He's coming with me and we're going to make him better. He's not going to die. He's not. He doesn't want to take the chance of hurting anyone. You need to honor his wishes. Stop making sense, damn you. <laughs> and damn him. And damn the Molborn. All right. Just give me a moment to say goodbye. Uh, Don't do this, Nathesum. The Cirque needs you. She just said I she accepts you. it, and then... Oh, little sister. The Cirque will be fine. And so will you. Damn you, brother. Uh, I'm going to miss you. But I'll do as you ask, and you meet me outside after you've dealt with these Molborn bastards. Okay. She seems a bit angry right now. Thank you for letting me end this my way. Irona will be fine. Now, let me do this before I turn into a devil. You can't stop the Molborn, you fool. We are the cleansing fire that burns across Morrowind. Uh, so I have to go this way. I'm not even quite sure what I'm supposed to do here. Goodbye, by the way. Wait, how did he... Weird. Anyways, um, we're going over here, apparently. All right, we're done here. Pack everything up. We need to regroup with the other Moorborn cadres and deliver this plague to the rest of Deshaan. I guess now I become friendly, or, well, they become neutral with that scent on. Oh, there he goes. We need to get these crates to Narcissus as soon as possible. You can't stop the Moorborn, you fool. We are the cleansing fire that burns across Morrowind. Jesus. How do you stop somebody who can heal like that? There you go. That took a lot of effort. All burning down now. Okay. Were you able to acquire any samples of the Molborn curative? I'm really curious to see what the elixir is made of. Here you go, but I'm pretty sure this elixir won't cure anything. I've been watching the townsfolk who received the curative and came to the same conclusion. But I'll be able to tell for sure after I analyze the elixir. Take this. It isn't much, but I'm sure you didn't have too much trouble in there. Yeah, no. Thanks Not at all. Help. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some alchemical wizardry to perform. Lovely cracking sounds. Okay. My brother is gone. And I fear that my uncle doesn't have much longer. 
This plague, it's taken so many good people. Your brother made his own decision. And it was a bad one. <laughs> Just when we need guidance and leadership the most, he left Circamora without a consul. Uh, no he didn't. You're here. Me? I, yes, you're right. I have to be strong f for the Cirque. Dethesum was still a switch, though. Uh, I dealt with the Melbourne uh, production facilities, but I think there's plans go beyond the Cirque. That's the same conclusion I reached. But at least the Cirque is safe, for now. Here, take this, for helping me find my brother and expose the true nature of the Moorborn. <laughs> a plague mask. <laughs> the Moorborn have been dealt with, but I could use a little more of your help, if you don't mind. Uh, of course, what do you need? It's my uncle. He's still ill, and his condition has taken a turn for the worse. Nalene is working to develop some kind of treatment, but she could use your assistance. She can't work at her alchemy table and also gather the components she needs. What should I do? Talk to Nalene. Let her know I ask you to assist her. She can be a little aloof. But she'll tell you what she needs you to do. Okay, I'll go talk to her. Yes? It's nice to see you again, of course. But I am kind of in the middle of something here. Uh, you need some help? Did she? Well, I suppose I do. There are a few additives I require, but I can't very well walk away from my table while Ornis and the rest of the townsfolk need my skills. Even this interruption can prove disastrous where alchemy is concerned. Uh, what additives do you need me to acquire? I need Kind's Heart Healing Herbs, Sour Milk Tea, and Dragon Scale Mushrooms. The innkeeper usually has healing herbs. Grel Flan loved Sour Milk Tea, and Sorel Tadus had a taste for exotic mushrooms. You should find what I need in those locations. Okay. Guess we should be on our way. There you go. It's times like these when I wish I had more help around here. Um, is there something I can get you? Any chance you have uh, Ken's uh, heart healing herbs? Well, I might have some around here someplace, but Kine's heart is very rare and valuable. I can make a fair bit of gold if I hold out for the right price. Yeah, but she needs it for her guy. What? Why didn't you say so? Ornis has always been fair and pleasant to me. And he's a good customer. Please, take this. It's all I have left. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Just checking this in stuff here. I never really pay attention to these, but sometimes they might have something interesting. Okay, so, um, yeah. Can I steal this? I mean, you could do it right in front of them. You'd probably be seen by everyone else, so yeah. Definitely be seen by everyone else. This would be a hard one to do, to be honest. Okay, so... Oh, there's a m magic book in here. Let's go find that. There you go. I'd assume the ends are the hardest ones to try to sneak and steal, you know? Okay, so we got that. And then uh, let's go over here. out this place looks such a waste so am I seen here no you're not these guys don't seem oh no that one said detected but I'm detected by yeah I think if they see you in the room they don't detect you it's just detected from that though I did put more points into my um, not racial I don't think it was it was the armor right and it was kind of cool. Um, proof sneak, yeah. So, reduces the size of your detection area by sneaking by 5% for each piece. So, I have 35%. Is there a piece of armor that I'm not wearing? I also saw this in uh, Evasion. It's an actual ability that you use, but I don't see a use for that right now. Uh, maybe of some sort of tank or something. Maybe PvP. Um, but, uh, character stats. What am I looking for, my friends? Oh, armor. Uh, I, I guess it would be under. So, medium, 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 yeah. 
So I have full medium. I guess this is what they call the seven. Before, a lot of people would do a five one one or something. So they have like say, okay, you're supposed to wear medium. They wear all medium, and then they have a heavy and a light. But uh, that seems to be something people do a lot less now. So, are there actual guards here? No. This town seems to be guard free at least, so we don't have to worry. Okay. Nightstand. And this container, I guess, over here. And no one's here, right? Yeah, no. It's always fun to seal, and I mean, it's worth 40 gold. 40 gold's 40 gold, right? If you think about it, it's not a lot, but it's it's a bit and you can get up to what like 250 or something there might be even more i think the blue is 250 maybe fragmented herbs what was that oh that was part of that never mind sorry this just has all the pieces in it i got a little confused there at first it's like what is that okay How far away is that? That's pretty f well, it's not too far actually. Yeah. Oh, we could partake, I think. I like doing these anyways, but yeah, it's close enough. Dramora know no fear and admit no defeat. These mortals are strong, but not strong enough. That item, I wonder what that is. Why is it so special? Well, it's max level anyways. Huh. I wonder if something like that does sell for that much. Maybe. Probably. Oh, that's a uh, Sky Shard inside. There's one over... That's weird, because there was one over there too, so I was like, a little lost there. Where are we? Oh, there's an actual Sky Shard over here, and that one's a Delph. Okay. That's why I was a little confused. It's like, eh. But there should be one here, or it could be up there. I highly doubt it's saying there's one in the dungeon. I mean, there is, as far as I know, a sky shard. Or you get one skill when you do the dungeon. I don't know if there's a sky shard in it, but you, uh, I think when you finish a dungeon. Oh, it's a public dungeon. Oh, this is a public dungeon with all the public bosses. Oh, okay. So, is it really a, a, a public dungeon? That, that's why then. Never mind. So, this is like the one that we did, the Crow's, uh, Crow's Wood.
Yeah, so I think that's what that is. Let's just double check because that's a public. Can't even hover over it, but yeah, yeah, it's a dungeon, uh, public dungeon. Okay, that makes sense. So we can do that one day and obviously go through that. Might be able to solo again, or maybe not. Who knows? I'll talk. Narcissus must hear of this. Buddy, we have our own stuff to do over here still. Okay. Our bounty is almost done now. Ten cold left. Where did you go to get those ingredients? Windhelm? Ah. No matter. You're here now. Were you able to acquire everything on my list? I think so. Healing herbs, dragon scale mushrooms, sour milk tea. Yes, it's all here. I need to stay here and monitor my patient's condition. Go over to the alchemy table and mix those ingredients together, please. Wait, didn't you just say how alchemy is like this like crazy ass science and I can't do this and blah, blah, blah. And now apparently I can do it. Oh no. Um, it's hard to read this stuff. Okay, so let me write this down because I see it in here. So, um, blah, 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 come like someone share the skill property, but I have an idea. Uh, I will require a rare. Uh, okay, uh, such as a uh, fit, subject to high heat, and allow the one quarter flame. Oh, okay, one quarter flame. Uh, first, I need an amount of uh, Keen's heart. I'm certain that the innkeeper blah blah blah. Okay, and then I need something uh, I need to follow taste. Uh, something like sour milk tea. Um, fondness of the beverage myself. I usually slash a uh, grief to give it a bit of a kick. You must know splash of grief. Is that something? Am I reading that right? I don't know. I'm just gonna put it in there anyways. Find something that adds a uh, magic dragon skill mushrooms. Oh, there might be some hidden blah 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 in his house. Okay. We'll see if that works anyway. So let's try this out. So adjust the flame. Oh yeah, I guess you get to do that anyway. So uh, you're gonna do this one, then you're gonna do the sour milk and the dragon scale, and there you go. Okay, see, the text is hard on my eyes on this, but well we did. I never doubted you for an instant. Now let me have the mixture, if you please. Here's your potion you asked for, asked me to make. This appears to be perfect. I truly am impressed. Now we'll see what happens and leave the rest in the tribunal's hands. Okay. Our friend has done well. I'm not sure this will cure the plague, but it should at least slow down its progress. All right, that's it. Visiting time is over. Everyone out and let my patient rest. Please, Mother Morrowind. Please help Uncle get well. I'm gonna steal more. These guys don't even care if I steal from them, apparently, so that works. Oh, here you go. The nice thing about the diagram is you can just use them if you don't have that one, so um, it doesn't have much of a value to it, but you can use it, and then there you go. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. I don't know how to thank you. Without your help, the Morborn would have destroyed the Cirque. We did everything we could, and uh, Nine seems to know what she's doing. I know. His fate is in the Three's hands now, but he certainly has a fighting chance thanks to you. Here, take this. There's no way I can truly repay you for what you've done for the Cirque, but it's a start. Uh, there you go. I'm happy to say that the suppressant works. It's not a cure, but it should buy me the time I need to find a way to beat the plague. 
That's wonderful news. If I wasn't worried about spreading the plague, I'd kiss you right on the lips. There you go. And then, uh, yeah. I think we're good there, yeah. Cool. I don't even see any other quests here, so I guess this is when you'd go to the next uh, area. Uh, which, when I was going down the road, obviously, we saw the NPC there. So it looks like there's a lot of main quest ones that are kind of spun around, which is pretty cool. Let's see if uh, there's anything up here now. Oh, here he is. Don't know if I could be able to soul this guy, but I mean, we could try it. Oh, that guy hurts a lot, actually. Oh yeah, no, he hurts way too much. <laughs> so you do the way shrine if you want to be cheap. This is two feet away, it doesn't even matter too much. Kind of a nice thing to have. Uh, but uh, either way, yeah, I think that's it for this episode, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.